we watched this this morning and so we're shocking. utterly stunned. And the fact that it, it would happen in a university, you know, sort of bright, new, modern, forward-thinking minds, utterly stunned us. Um, so just explain, you know, where, where were you and, and, and how did it happen? OK, so I came back from the library around, like, 12 a.m. Um, so when I, after I came back, like, 10, 15 minutes after it happened, mm -hmm. everyone started, like, shouting outside in the corridor and they were just saying, yeah, like, we hate the blacks, F the blacks, and all of that stuff. And so you were in your room at the time? Yeah, I was in And my so room. you s obviously stayed put, and then, yeah. and then you videoed, you videoed oh, the... I didn't, the... I didn't video it, someone else video, videoed it, because when it happened, I didn't think to video it. OK, fine. Well, you were yeah. probably terrified. Yeah. Um, so, so how did it make you feel, then, to hear those taunts? Because that was only just some of it. I mean, it went on for a lot longer, there were worse things said, all sorts of terrible, mm. terrible things. How were you feeling? It just made me, like, really distressed. And, like uncomfortable and I felt really isolated. Mm. Have you felt anything like that before? Have you have you had or witnessed anything like that before in that university? No, not never in the university. That was like my first time. And the and the and the, the people outside, um, mm. have, do you know who they were? Were they? Yeah, were I know they... who they are. Who they are? I see them like, all the time. And had they been friendly in the past? Or, mm -hmm. or... yeah, they have. So this was out of character, would you say? Mm -hmm. I believe so. Yeah. So you um, you spoke to your, you spoke to your mum and you were like, right, mm. what do I do? And quite rightly, she said, you know, you can't put up with this. You need to go downstairs to report it. So you mm. went down to the reception of your halls and, and reported it immediately. And <clears throat> there was no response the next day or the next day. And by Wednesday, you'd still not heard anything. So you thought, right, I'm going to take matters into my own hand. And what did you do? Well, before that, um, on like the Tuesday, I asked for advice from like my family, like my sister and my brothers, and they told me to write a statement mm -hmm. and then send it to the university. So I spent like Tuesday writing the statement and then I sent it on Wednesday. So then I didn't hear anything. And then I did post it on like Wednesday night before I went to work. I posted it on social media. Yeah. And then after that, I told the president to tender, yeah. the ACS president, what happened. And then he told me, yeah, you should post it on social media. And I told him I did and then he like got everyone to support me. And, 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 and uh, Tender, how, how much of this have you seen? Um, really and truly, I haven't seen anything this brazen, but I think there is a culture among, um, especially like young, especially in the, like the current political climate of microaggressions being held towards people of ethnic minorities. And I think if you look at certain situations like what happened in Warwick and in Loughborough, there have been it's like, um, issues that have happened there as well. And I feel like this is just um, really, and it's just a bigger case of what has been going on like in a smaller level. So. So, um, are the police to get involved, uh, two men were arrested, one girl was questioned, uh, you yourself had to, had to put a statement um, in. Um, how, how do you feel about them now? What do you think should happen to those two? Um, I feel like they shouldn't go to jail. Like, if anything does happen, they shouldn't, like, go to jail or anything. Mm -hmm. I feel like what they've been through now is enough so to know, like, they shouldn't happen again. Should they be expelled? Um... I don't know. If he has to take into, like, the school's hands, maybe, like, expulsion is enough, but I feel like, because they're still my age mm. and they still yeah. have their life ahead of them, yeah. they should... That's very good of you. What, what, about, what about you? What actions did you take? Um, well, sh um, it was actually during one of our meetings, um, the committee meetings, that I actually was sent the video, and as soon as I heard it, I had to like, listen to it three or four times to make sure I really heard what I was thinking I heard. And as soon as I realised, you know, the weight of what is actually going on, um, obviously, I encouraged Rafara to put it on social media, and from then I sent the link to the tweet before it got any traction to every ACS president in the UK. Mm -hmm. And from then they all retweeted it, and that's when it started to get and traction. And that's when it gathered momentum. Well, there hadn't been much response from the uni, as you said. Uh, there, there certainly wasn't a swift mm -hmm. response. Um, but uh, what has been the response? I've got a statement to read out in a second. But what, what's been, what have they been like now? Yeah, they've been really helpful. They've provided me so much support. They even helped me move accommodation as well. So they are being really helpful. Um, have you received an apology of these people? Have they contacted you in any way? No. Um, it's an ongoing legal case, yeah. so they may not be able to exactly. currently. But yeah. um, mm -hmm. uh, the Nottingham Trent University say, we are shocked and appalled to see the video of racist chanting. This kind of vile behaviour will not be tolerating at uh, Nottingham Trent University. Those suspected perpetrators have been suspended immediately pending a full investigation and a disciplinary inquiry has begun. We've contacted the student who made the complaints and we're providing support to her and others affected and we're li liaising with the police about this incident. 
Nottinghamshire police say two 18-year-old men were arrested on Thursday on suspicion of racially aggravated public order offences and the 18-year-old woman was interviewed in connection with the incident. The incident's being treated as a hate crime. We're continuing our investigation and we'll continue speaking to witnesses over the coming days and working with the university. We're keen to speak to anyone who may have seen, heard or witnessed the incident. Please call 101 and uh, there's an incident number here. We'll put this on our website. A quote the incident number uh, 23 of the 8th of March 2018. Um, for you, are you happy now, to, once this has been dealt with in that way, to move on? Yeah, I am happy to move on. Do you feel um, upset that you've had to move halls? Yeah, I, I do feel upset I had to move halls, but it happens, I guess. Yeah, and, and as far as you're concerned, what, um, what, what would you like to see done now? Um, really, I'd like to see um, an honest conversation about race relations in university um, halls, especially because that's when you've just moved away from home and everything you know and you feel so vulnerable and isolated. And I feel like, especially in that environment, there needs to be a conversation about the things you, that might happen and especially, you know, um, f racial sensitivity and whatnot. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's a conversation that doesn't happen and it needs to happen, especially in a university setting where you are vulnerable.